So I'm here at Minehead Butlin for the next four nights. And I saw a lot of comments on TikTok and on here on YouTube with different people vlog going that Butlin is bad and they wouldn't recommend going. So I booked it, I'm going. Is Butlin really that bad? I'm gonna find out. I'll tell you what is bad though, this weather. Can't believe it. July. So it's 7.55, breakfast starts at 8 a.m. till I believe it was 10.30, but it's recommended if you go at the time it first opens for breakfast and the time it first opens for dinner, which for dinner I think it was half four, quite early, but if you go at those times, it'll be quite quiet. Yesterday for dinner, it was quite busy, but we did go at the peak time, but still they had everything there. It was really nice actually. I had lasagna, very nice, wasn't it? But yeah, we took off to go and get our breakfast at Ocean Drive, I believe it's called. There is a couple of ones that they give you, but Ocean Drive is the one allocated to us. Yeah, go get breakfast there, see? We've just had our breakfast, and yeah, yeah everything really bacon, you know, full fry up, cereal. Um, Croissants, etc. It's everything you can kind of hope for when you have a breakfast somewhere, a buffet breakfast. We went had a good time as well. But I didn't want to record it because it was a bit weird if I was just recording a few videos. And a lot of comments I saw on TikTok and that where they were, just weren't recommending buttons. They said the accommodation, mouldy, uh, filthy, and like it'd been cleaned. Well, you know, maybe they got a bit unlucky there, but nothing. Nothing wrong, it's actually really nice. Dex is just in there with Michaela having a little bit of fun on the fairgrounds as you just saw. But in about 15 minutes we are going to the studio just here, which is behind me. Studio 36 to watch Jack in the Beanstalk. So they've got an app on button and you can just book the activities you want and all the entertainment like that. It's all free. You're yeah, brilliant. A lot of good to pick from as well. Yeah, go and find them. That show was fantastic. Our first show that we've watched here, and very impressed so far. Brilliant. Really good. Really funny. And it's just free. That's mad. That you can go to these different shows. You can book on the app and you just say how many people go and you just rock up and go and watch it. I, love, I would have happily paid for that. So yeah, very good. Kids have had a little nap and then we're gonna go swimming before dinner. Good times, eh? Good times. Should we get dinner? So they had dinner done for a second night. A bit of a switch up in the buffet, I quite like a bit more like fish, uh, cottage pie, things like that. Really, really nice again, brilliant. It's nice to have a little bit of a mix up. It's only a three minute walk from here as well, so the idea where you walk up, have your food, you're back here really quickly, and then it's only a couple minutes again to the big infamous Butlins white tent, which we will be going to again, probably in a half hour to an hour or so. so yeah, let's see it. Maybe the arcade today. Very good in this tool farm. Very good. Yeah, get the
So let's see what you got. An egg and a duck, didn't you? There you go, fun night at the arcade. Yeah, we cool. did it now. We did, didn't we? Should we go back to our room now? Yeah. Okay. We'll see you in the morning. It's another morning, we've had breakfast and now we're actually going to go to Minehead and explore a little around there and go to a few of the shops and then we've got a few shows on later which would be quite exciting and I've still found nothing negative about this trip I'm actually even trying to but I haven't there have been nothing but wrong they've been great the show has been great and like I just said we've got like two or three but actually today Brilliant. I wouldn't be a football channel if I didn't go and look at Minehead Football Club ground, but I remember I looked at the pictures and it had a quite a nice big old fashioned looking stand, which is where this one behind me is. So I then looked it up and they've knocked down that lovely big stand and made the clubhouse behind me, which is, yeah, I'm sure it's nice, but. I like the old big stand for a where it looked like that they had. And then the ground here, which is not that great, is it? Fortunately, because they play in the equivalent league to Bobby. They play in the Somerset County League, which is equivalent to Southwest Peninsula League, one below Buckland. And this is the ground. Not a single standing site. Yeah, big shame, but that's what they have replaced that lovely big stand with. I'll try and overlay it if I can, but yeah. Big shame, but you can see Butlin just over there somewhere. This will be very good when it opens in literally nine days time. Very big park. So it's definitely not outdated because they're continually building new stuff. Like the massive guy park that's being built. Definitely not outdated at all. Yeah, look at that. Benefit. Very modern. And what have you got on your head? Need my feet somewhere. No problem. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? That puppet show. Should we see the robot now? Optimus Prime? Yeah, should we get Now that robot was really good, he was a bit scared to go near it and he didn't want to queue up for a photo, which is fine, and quite a lot of people queuing up, but yeah, very cool, wasn't it? And that haunted show was very good. We're going back to the room just for about an hour and then we're going to watch Peppa Pig live. This is my little Have Peppa Pig done. That was really good, actually. To be fair, we sat right near the front. Um, oh, oh, oh dear, where it gone? <laughs> and that confetti coming down. That's what he just gave me then. But yeah, that was really good. Another good show. Later on, uh, in about an hour and a bit, we have Animal vs Dinosaur, which is in a show. The same place we watched the Jack and the Beanstalk one. And then we'll go watch an England game in there a little bit later as well. Gonna have two more things we've got today. We did go swimming yesterday, which I didn't include. Um, mainly because you can't take a phone in there and it was really, really busy. Uh, that's not like a negative thing at all. We just must have gone like maybe a 
not a very good time just after lunch maybe quite a lot of people went then they were quite busy but we still enjoyed ourselves taking about an hour in there and again it's just really good again nothing negative i could find at all about buttons and clean the show good good shrimp all good nothing the food good amazing to be fair Just come out of the animal versus dinosaur show absolutely fantastic the best show so far uh, educational but in like a really fun way so yeah that was, that was great now we're going to go and get some dinner and then the england game after that no, he, he doesn't want dinner apparently but he does <laughs> Do you want to go on that one up there? Why? Why not? We go on that one. Oh! <laughs> Oh, careful. So 40 minutes until kickoff. We've just gone to the park, as you just saw briefly. A oh, nice little park, actually. And it's actually a nice day, finally, because the you last know, couple of days have been quite miserable slash quite rainy. But yeah, that thing behind looked really cool. Not that we're going to do that, but it looked quite cool, didn't it? Yeah, we'll go back and get Michaela and Darcy, and then we'll head to the England game. Yeah, boy. It's not a great character. Out of the slip, the space, got to go to the ball. It doesn't have a It's Harry Kane. Yeah. Yeah. It's Harry Kane. So that's the end of a very, very busy day to be fair, but very successful day. There's been a lot of shows and everything that's gone on, as well as England get to the Euro 2024 final, which is fantastic. And amazing that Butlin put that on as well. They had it on in that at the pavilion where we saw the Peppa Pig earlier, and then that one where we watched it is where they had the dinosaur show earlier. But that is brilliant that they had that load of people there with near enough the full when we went in. Like, yeah, brilliant. So well done, Butlin. Go on to tomorrow, like but is it bad? Come on. Button can great. We've had a great time so far. And we're on to our final full day tomorrow. So we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Come on, England. And Ollie Watkin. So it's another day, another morning. We just had breakfast and now we are starting the day with going to the arcade. Let's go. Oh, 
Wow. Why that cheap? Kick! Oh, try again, Nectar. Try again. Go! Okay. Oh! Oh! Okay. Go! Oh. Right. Yeah! Well done! <laughs> Danny has done the arcade, including football. And now we're looking at a fitness show. So my hobby and my job in 10 minutes. <laughs> Should we go swimming again? Yeah. Yeah? Swimming? Right now? Are you sure? Life well, okay, because we're in the changing room already. Did Daddy put the black band on you? <laughs> Sorry, silly Daddy. So we've just come out and swim in, and now we're off for an early dinner before a illusion show at half six. But yeah, again, even on this day, Thursday, still nothing wrong. But this is good. Now we're here at Butlin's Fairground, which all these rides like behind me. Um, that one, Dodger at the behind, Big Helter Gelter, and there, all completely free as well, which is brilliant. Open from 12 till 6 o'clock. That's a different go on a lot of things. Um, a cup of grenade, which again is fine. Dark City, obviously. Yeah, we're going on the Helter Skelter slide all the way up there. That's alright. Bye. Bye. We're going to see a magic show that's there. In that red one, yeah? Yeah. And this one. Come on, get through the DJ box. 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 Come on, get through the Rather than the other one, I prefer the other stage, but yeah, brilliant show. One more show to watch for our holiday, right here. Yeah. Well, that's the end of our final night here. We are still around in the morning. Hopefully we're gonna do the pedal go-kart thing and maybe something else around the resort. But yeah, we've had a great time. But yeah, final, final night and off back to the room. 
So final well, morning before we head home, we've loaded up the car, we've handed in our key to the holiday home and now we're just in here, we're gonna chill in here for a little bit, go to the arcade, trade in our ticket, maybe go on the pedal go kart like I said, although it's not as nice today as it was yesterday, and then we're gonna head home, aren't we? <laughs> we're gonna hire out one of these now and go for a little tour of the park, yeah? Let's go. Okay. Where are we going next, man? <laughs> There's the swimming pool. Yeah. And so we stayed down there. Where are we going now, that sir? I feel like the little boy in the shining. My little trike. Good exercise. You went past the little supermarket behind, which I didn't know was there, so. It's another good thing, maybe to get to know the site. It'd be probably quite cool to rent the go-karts out on the first day. Go completely around the site, then you'll know your way around then. Quite cool. But yeah, only 14 pound, pay a 20 quid with top deposit. I think worth it, to be fair. A bit of fun and a good way for, well, us this time to finish up on our holiday. So behind me just over there is literally the furthest away from the main complex you could be, which is the caravan tier. But there's a nice lake in the middle, so you get a nice view of the lake. I, won't, I don't think I'll be able to show you that because it's just over there, but very nice. Yeah, that thing can see it. There goes even a swan boat there. That's very nice. Swan boat. Oh, bumpy, bumpy. Now that over there's a team member accommodation, which we're not allowed down. And there's the red and white circus tent over here, which I'm not sure what that is. We're gonna have a look anyway. It's look kind of gonna be a circus here soon. Very cool. Oh look, so this is all closed. This is all old accommodation. And they've closed off the old butlins. I think I may have even stayed in one of those. So you can see all boarded up. So I saw that on a, there are two sides of Butler and someone put a video on, but they're just remaking it all. And I think that's good. They said they just left them to rot away. Well, they haven't. They're going to redevelop all of these properties here that were currently going past. They all have no one there. But yeah, again, it's perfect. Like they've tucked away, got signs saying that they're redeveloping you know sorry for our appearance etc and that's completely fine right that's fine that's good make it out of the way anyway yeah i'm sure they'll be lovely like the one opposite all right then go back towards the main area now we've explored in the back of buttons there's where we watch a lot of the shows there's reds that's the little ones fair area we will have to Turn around in a minute because it will be a dead end. But that's fine. There's like a stand there, but I'm not sure what goes on there. But quite cool. No. This is a real one. Go and park it up now over here. Oh, good fun, isn't it, bad? Good exercise, all right for me. Go and trade in our ticket. Okay, trade in our token, got some sweet and a cool little Spider-Man 3D puzzle set. Oh, 750 ticket. Yeah, we didn't spend actually too much in the arcade, going. So that's not too bad at all. Yeah, very cool. Is Sonic enjoying himself? So this is the end of our time at Butlings. We're just about to go and head off home now. But we have had a fantastic time. Everyone here we've met have been great and helpful to staff. And yeah, we've had a great time. Oh. So yeah, the question was at the beginning, 
Is Butlins really that bad? And the answer is no. We've had a great time. So thank you, Butlins. And hopefully we'll be back very soon. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you've enjoyed this video. And we'll see you very soon. Oh, and it only cost us £198 for four nights in a silver log, including breakfast and dinner. Bargain.